post. I think it's a, guard, a really good pick. It fits really nicely into the lineup against Empire. He's got to be a bit careful. And the Power Rangers, which I don't know if he was on the new roster or not at all. The newer Power Rangers, but oh my god. Chavos, you were in a lot of trouble, buddy. That is the easiest first blood of Alliance's life, and they're going to steal the camp. Ay, ay, ay. How did they even get that guy? What into Funic, or is it the other way around? Funic gets an Impale. Attempting to walk oh, away, but there are two boars on him. Doesn't have any access to finish him off, but the right clicks might suffice. The FN is here. He's gonna turn this around into a sheep, into an ice path. Jakiro as well, 3v1 against Bulldog. And one more right click will do it. In fact, the Thunderbolt is used. That was a huge kill. Uh, is that a triple? Yeah, triple stack here in the bottom jungle. Top lane in the meantime, Kovos getting turned on yet again. This time close to his tower, and there is no TP support coming his way. Gets off one anchor smash, but little to no avail. Loda. Oh, but, but the Crystal Maiden still benefits more overall. Yeah, because it doubles. It gets, she gets twice so much more. Yeah, bottom, bottom lane, Lona. roar onto Aloha Dance. He has oh, Sunder. Can he get it off? He oh, will. Onto Ake, attempting to walk away as S4 is out within an ice path. Funic with the sheep, attempting to help his team get away. Aloha Dance gets poison touch though, and will fall one way or another. And Empire forced back with the huge rotation from Alliance. This is literally an entire team, in fact. They're gonna dive. S4 does not care. No fear. Peeing out, EGM very close, Radiance but the Fire Blast animation is too slow. Radiance this tier 1 tower looks to be... Or Blink Dagger first, and some people get Necro, but almost everybody purchases the, uh, the Necro now. They're going to try to kill a little hot dance here. Oh, he's going to get surrounded by EGM and Ake. He does he's at half HP, gets Fire Blasted, Thunder is now up. Ravage is only going to connect to Ake. They'll find the kill one way or another. It's with the Thunder God's Wrath is back. FN really needed that, by the way. EGM in the meantime picks up the bounty rune. Thunder on to... He's almost... He's getting pretty close to his mech, so he's kind of bounced back. Not too bad. See this alliance curve? Here we go again. It's a gem TD wave. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's uh, physical immune. Speaking of that, no fear getting pounded upon. Plasma Field might be enough, he'll get away. No! The right click somehow is there. That's for his range. Top One of those little fallen. weird interactions with Dota too. That was way beyond the, the range of oh, was it? I, right I just click. assumed he would get the kill for sure. I was like, Radiant's oh, surely he'll go for the right click and anticipate attack. this. Yeah, it's that extra like little delay, you know, when the attack animation's going yep. on and everybody. Way, but Funic was hoping to get a kill there. Um, it would have cost him maybe finger of death to break the Aegis, but now Alliance is or S4 is going to heal back to full again. That attack. becomes a little scary to hit the tower. You got grave. That's not something that you can bother for because you're like well if i hit one hp anyways and it doesn't matter Ooh. if i, if I don't alliance have is gonna find chavost here roar is available if they want to use it offensive weave as well eg or egm i should say just on the other side and that's an easy easy kill meanwhile top lane loda getting pressure by aloha dance thunder god's wrath used again but to no avail unfortunately s4 is gonna find no fear do they have any stuns in sight egm nope not close enough and by the way he maxed out bloodlust it's like Fuck Ignite! <laughs> this skill sucks dick, it, it actually doesn't, it's a really good skill, but yeah. against something like a Terra Blade, it's kind of dangerous to use, because you don't want to use damage over time and slows against Terra Blade, you just want stuns and burst damage. And Bulldog getting Earth spiked, and that'll be an easy kill for Empire, so a nice little trade of sorts, I suppose. Kind of a weird Jakiro build here, the three I have from smoke, it's gonna be hard, but... Oh, they know Funic is really here, good. and that's actually gonna give up everything, unfortunately. Thunder God's Wrath used yet again. Literally, although they might find Ake, Funic, a nice stun, finger of death use, and a support kill, and it took five heroes Radiant's with smoke. Student how often it was picked in the last patch. No, that's I, true. I think the, the support items are getting a bit more balanced here. As four spots out Jukiro. Maybe he's just tailing that wind headed dragon who places a ward, and they know he placed the ward, so that'll be counted in all likelihood. One more right click should do it. That is 168 extra damage. Go Razor. Yeah, that's so painful. <laughs> the worst turn rate ever. As Pipe is popped, Necro 3 as well, S4 in the front line. Sonic is going to get multicasted. My goodness, just drops to the, the deck immediately. Tier 3 tower will go. And Terrorblade will finally TP back. Has to get his mana regen though. Pretty sure Alliance can just take this Rex if they really want to. Kobosto does have Ravage, that's something they need to worry about. Range Rex is going to have pretty much no problem. No fear with the ice pad, has macro fire available, we'll place it, Loda just gonna sit in it, pop the BKB and take out the racks and that's all it took. One BKB for Rex. I mean, it's, it's a good thing to do, because yeah. that's gold advantage and map control too. They might catch no fear here. 
AGM looking for initiation. Ice Path will block him in his way. Macrofires will have no fear of sacrificing his life, and he'll take a Necrolls, in fact. I think it's the first of the game, surprisingly yeah. enough. He acts. They don't even try to defend. I mean, he had to defend at some point. They I can't. Like, that's the problem. Like, they would have had to take a 4v5 against a team that has how much gold advantage? Oh, uh, you know, just 12,000 at the 24 minute mark. Well, they're gonna catch EGM, maybe they can get a kill here. I think they canceled the TP, and now Aloha Dance has been sitting top this whole time. Has the Metamorphosis popped? Well, all likelihood to take out the tier 3. He might even get Rax himself. Is there gonna be a team fight now? EGM. Bolus gets the Ravage onto 2 or 3. Pretty sure he might have canceled the TP there, and this might be a Rax again. This time going the way of Empire, surprisingly enough. As the chase continues, Empire is down in numbers though. Funnik and Kabos attempting to run away, but they actually trade Rax. That's pretty damn good for Empire. I mean, that's the yep. best you can hope for at this rate. They actually just couldn't kill Ogre Magi. It wasn't even close. When he had pipe there, as soon as their physical damage stopped, he just lived. Radiance middle. Smoked up. This is going to be the last Radiance stand, I believe. And they're doing the right thing. They need to initiate before the tier 3 towers are approached yep. by Alliance. Be before the BKB scoot. They're going to run it off. Well, Bolas with a nice Ravage on 2. Aloha Dance pops the Metamorphosis. Loda pops the BKB in turn, though. Taking quite oh, a bit of damage. Looks, looks like Loda will fall in this engagement. S4 is going to attempt to run away. Drums are popped. We're doing Still it. has the Aegis intact. Yeah. Say one for three in favor of Empire and S4 getting destroyed. That's the Aegis. They're gonna surround him. That should take him out another time. I think they can. Aloha Dance is doing a ton of physical damage. They're just getting ripped apart. They've still won the fight. Oh Alright, we'll God. see how much this gold swing is. That's what I'm really interested in. All right. He's got Scotty now too. Oh. That's the reason it's strong. It's kind of early into the game. But the other benefit is that you respawn a bit faster and that's actually a pretty Oh, nice Funic. You're gonna walk directly into a smoke and into a Shiva's. Into the fire blast, BKB's popped galore for alliances. They're gonna clean up Jakiro, no problem. Reaper Scythe will finish him off, and that's dead right off the bat for Empire. And that's gonna be a free rush, which should be up in five seconds. The question is, do they care? You mentioned the extra aura from the Necro units. I mean, they have so many auras to work with, it's insane. On top of all the items. Pipe is popped. Deuce pops his ult into it. Oh, great fight. Huge ravage on the entirety of Alliance. They're gonna find the Dazzle. Funnik getting chased down by EGM. Four steps the opposite direction. I'm not sure if that was intended. Can we four. BKB is is over. Sunder. Oh, oh my Sunder. God! It wasn't in range. I guess this tower is oh, going to oh, continue man. to be pushed by Alliance. No buyback on Terrorblade. So the four v four. Kavos with no ravage, so he's utterly useless. If they're not careful. Alliance could get mega creeps. Macropires used to clean out the wave, and backdoor protection has not kicked in yet. There's the BKB. I've, Loda's been saving that BKB the entire time. <laughs> and uses it there to ensure this rack is going to be range rack at the very least. And in all likelihood, the melee is terribly still not buy back. That's going to be Mega Creeps going the way of Alliance. And in all likelihood, game one is the result. S4 pops the, the Shivas, and they're just going to finish off these heroes. That's the third Necro we've seen this game. GG Well Played is called Game 1 to Alliance. A little bit of a blip there, but quite dominant. That fight was so good by Empire. Funnix initiation was perfect. First of all, he went on the Dazzle, and then he got a double stun. Ulti to Dazzle, Dazzle, so then the Ravage hit. Oh man, they started the fight perfectly, but terribly just lost too much HP there. He tried to Sunder Loda, but Loda ran away, so he's like, well, I'm gonna die, I need to Sunder somebody. He tries to go on Razor. Oh, I think I know what happened.